Welcome back to The Hunt Experience. I'm Cody Gann. And I'm Chris Brewer. This show, as always, is brought to you by Camel Family Outdoors and Whitetail Property Management. Well, Chris, we made a Missouri trip. Yeah. Did you miss me? We haven't uh, seen each other yeah, in a day. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. It's been, what, 24 hours? <laughs> At least, yeah. 24 hours, yeah. <laughs> that was a good trip, man. I had a, I had a good time it was with a lot, that. It was a lot of fun. No, no birds. No birds. But. We, we seen... 2,364, but we didn't kill one. If I don't know for you, but for me, it made me realize how ethical of a hunter I am. Yeah. Because <laughs> we would hear birds on the adjoining properties. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we would get in the truck to head out. Yeah. And there's birds all around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like on, 50 on, feet from the truck. <laughs> on, on, every, on every, yeah, I know, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's, yeah, especially on day three, right? It's yeah, like, day oh, three. You start to get desperate. houses around here? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we would never do that. But <clears throat> man, it's still really cool though. Oh yeah. Especially coming from the two weeks we had prior to trying to find birds in Arkansas yeah. and driving around and seeing I mean, turkey to me, a strutting turkey is gorgeous. Like I just I oh, love yeah. seeing it and we saw How many? How many strutters do you think we've seen? Oh gosh. In them know. three days. Yeah. Fifteen, twenty maybe, <sighs> something like that. Had I mean, and that one field there was Four or five? Four or five. Yeah. Four for some, sure. Yeah. And that, yeah, it's like, stop, 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 yeah. stop. Luckily, the roads aren't busy in, no, in yeah, Missouri because no, we no. were we were gawking with binoculars and, no, and video cameras. and. Uh, yeah. It was a blast, man. I mean, that what was cool is, like you said, we go from an environment here where it's yeah. like, I think I seen a turkey two miles ahead across the road. And yeah. it's like, hey, there's six over here. Oh, eight on that side. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like, Wow. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And the property we were on had birds on it. Every day. They just, for some reason, they wanted to go to the field across the road, which we couldn't hunt. And then we had three birds across a creek. Yeah. There's three that first morning. Yeah. 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 And it's like we talked about, their creeks are like rivers. Yeah. I mean. And we didn't know that. We kind of went in a little bit blind. You know, it's yeah. like we talk about being a good woodsman and knowing the terrain. But, I mean, when you roll up to a place you've never been to before, you know, Onyx just shows a little blue line. You don't know that yeah. it's, you know, 40 foot across and 25 foot deep. Yeah. That, and the birds are sitting on the edge, you know, gobbling to every call we make. And, yeah, you had him fired up. Yeah, I was like, what is wrong with this bird? Like, any second, you know, something's going to happen. And then we, I don't know what time it was, noon. Yeah. I'm like, let's go look around see what's going on. Oh. Yeah, here's the a ravine. There's your problem. Yeah, ravine there. But that what? So the after we got set up that first morning. Yeah. What we heard six. Yeah. We hear six different gobblers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Which mean, is super you know, cool. I mean, I sat on the drive up there, man. I just want to hear one. Just, yeah. just, just, just answer back to me and let me know that. Yeah. That you know it heard me and yeah we we had a that first morning especially it was mm -hmm. like there's birds all over the place. I still kind of wonder like. What happened? Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. What? I mean, we had a good setup. Oh, we were sitting in, in a beautiful big field, yeah. and I mean, there was a few times it was just like you stop what you're doing and you just look I'm like, man, this this is beautiful. I mean, this that's was, the other part of it too, right? Man, I mean, the world's waking up. Turkeys are gobbling. Owls are going. The birds are chirping. Sun's rising. Yeah. Big green field. You know, beauty. That that turkey's going to be on there, and then we had you know some deer come within. <laughs> 15 yards yeah, probably. Like, to, like to run up in our lap man. Yeah, so that tells you how stealthy we are yeah oh yeah absolutely i mean come on yeah you got, you got missouri bucks coming in there within 15 yards of us and didn't even know we were there yeah and they're and they're a whole different animal up Gosh. there huge i know <laughs> massive that one looked like he was yeah. stuffed i know fat as a horse man but no overall man uh i had a really good time yeah. i mean I, we uh we stayed in a a house, yeah, yeah, which was cool all itself. It was really cool, yeah. yeah. As uh, so we had the option of a hotel room in Brookfield, which would have been had that far. We we went on some public land way up there too. So how I think that was probably about 30, 35 minutes away. We, yeah, we drive. went we went to Walmart and got basically just got what we needed to survive, which was turned out to be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did what burgers and brats and yeah, we had uh, everything. Yeah, lunch meat and plenty of. I don't know. I would always have nutty bars and sugar bears. And <laughs> well, <laughs> it's funny because I, I actually talked to my wife about it, and she's yeah. like, "Well, what would y'all eat and stuff?" And I, I said, "Well, we 
we went and bought groceries and we yeah. did really good. We stayed fairly healthy. I mean, yeah. nothing outlandish. Yeah. And I said, by day three, I was like, dude, we got to get some snacks. <laughs> yeah. We got to load up. Yeah. And I just, I yeah. went into a sugar coma. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, that was, that was something. And then, uh, sugar bears. Yeah. We were in the middle of, uh, I don't even know what the name of the town was. We were on our way back <laughs> probably from one of those spots where we found like the five birds and like, you know, Hey, if you find a convenience store, we've and, been there. Yeah. And then there was like, okay, there's a white building. And there's some big feed silos on the left hand side of the road, and one car. I was like, that may have been one. Let's turn around here and look. And then I fixed to turn back out, and I think, oh, that's a Budweiser sign. I think that might be a bar. I don't have any windows. No in windows there. in it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't think they're going to have sugar bears in there. <laughs> I'll go with you if you want to try that. That <laughs> uh, cracked me up right there. So, so, yeah, we skipped that location yeah, and yeah. we went down the road. But, uh, but yeah, the house worked out well because it was what take us about nah, 14, 15 minutes to get to our hunting spot, yeah, yeah. which, you know, in Missouri. And I remember it from my very first trip up there. It's like the sun starts popping up there in the northern Missouri anyway. And I don't know why, but it's like, you know, you look about 15 minutes earlier there than here yeah. as far as like the, yeah. the, 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 you know, 30 minutes before we're shooting a light. Happens 15 minutes earlier. It sure does. Yeah. And, that, and that was shocking because I was like, all right, what time do you think we need to get out there? Yeah. You know, and it was like, well, if we get up at 430 yeah. and we get out there, we get out there in plenty of time. It's yeah. like we were pulling up and it's like it's getting yeah. light. Oh, yeah, sun's coming up. Yeah. It's like, <clears throat> like 530. It's yeah. like a light. So. And, and the other part, other deal about I thought was weird about that, <clears throat> you know, the birds didn't start gobbling until like daylight daylight yeah like, like later in the morning was odd like man it's yeah. like these i don't know if it's the area or the colder temperatures but it's like we're sitting there standing each other like i don't think there's any turkeys anywhere around here right. and you know it's like 20 minutes after we think that should be a goblin they start hitting yeah like yep so that was uh, interesting i'd like to know of course i'm the why guy but i want to know why i wonder why they because you know it's a little different in arkansas you can crawl up underneath one at it's pitch black and he's hammering on the roof so over there they didn't they didn't make a peep yeah they stayed quiet it was way after you yep know, yep you couldn't it was loud enough where you couldn't sneak up on one I was just for like, sure yeah for sure well i was super excited when we got there so we go we go to the house and we throw out some stuff and it's like all right let's go to the, let's go to the lease yeah and dude the drive out there <laughs> yeah there was strutters. Yeah. And I, I think, what did what you figure out? Like 25 birds? Yeah, I think we saw 25. In that 15-minute drive right yeah. there? And I was like, oh, my gosh, dude, yeah. we were in turkey country, and we were. Oh, for <clears> sure, <throat> yeah. We were we were a little bit, the, the property we were on, it was, I think it would have been a great property because the way it laid, the ridge laid out the yeah. way it is. But, you know, I'm used to hunting public land up there, and it's like those birds we saw, instead of coming down, they would fly down and go over the ridge to the other side in the other greenfield well, on public land, make a big circle, get in front of them and kill it. Swing around. We couldn't. We were no. just locked in. Like, what do yeah. we do? What do we do? Like, yep. What can you do other than just sit here and hopefully they circle back around or another bird pops in. But so we were a little bit hemmed in on the property we were at. And I think we were a little late, you know, I yeah. think, I think if we'd have been there yeah. first couple of weeks. Oh, I know. Late like season. It's, t- it's tougher for sure. It's kind of like the, <clears throat> It's kind of like the ending of the rut, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. they're not as fired up and not as, you know, a lot, They've of, been hen- called a lot to. of hens are on the nest. <clears throat> a lot of hens have been bred and they've been called to, beat yep. up, pushed around, bumped off the roost, yeah, all yep. that stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so morning one, we did that and we kind of deer hunted them there for a while. Yeah, we were in the blind for five and a half hours. Yeah. In the blind, just hoping because the way it was set up, turkeys literally on three sides of us that morning yeah, yeah. and it was like surely one of these is going to cross mm. this field well what we didn't yeah. know is the birds across the creek you know weren't going to come across that massive yeah. creek yeah. and the other birds that were in front of us went uphill instead of yeah. coming downhill which yeah. was really not what i was expecting. something on the other side of the road that they liked yeah yeah i don't know if it was that draw to get out of the wind or if they'd been you know they the, the nephew had hunted that field if it didn't pressure um yeah maybe some pressure in there they've been shot i don't know you know you don't know when you go in a place like that. Sure. But, uh, I mean, no regrets. It was a cool, cool spot. Oh, and, for sure. Yeah. You know, we weren't out a ton of money to hunt some, some private land and, you know, it could have gone either way. Sure. Either one of those mornings, you know, and then, very easily. Yeah. I mean, and that, that was what was cool about it is to know that we were in the middle of Turkey country mm, Yeah, and you know, like numbers, there was yep. birds around. And I've been up there, you know, towards, well, let's see, like I've been up Northern Kansas, Southern Kansas, um, lower part of missouri i don't 
I don't think I've ever seen that many turkeys driving around. Ever. No. Yeah. Nowhere. It was just, yeah. there, there were, I mean, yeah. certain times of the day, man, it was just like tons of them. Yeah. Now there you catch yeah, them on the movies. 10, 11, 12, yeah. well, 4, or 5. Yeah, it was like 5.30. We yeah. were seeing birds everywhere. Yeah. Like, oh, my gosh, this yeah. is great, you know. And we're like, you know, oh, my gosh, look at this. And I'm, you know, stopping in the middle of the highway trying to get on all next <laughs> and find who owns it. And they, we're calling yeah. pig farms and everything else yeah. trying to get permission to <laughs> get on some property. Like, yeah. we, need, no, we need to know now. You yeah. have five stutters on your <laughs> Yeah, and that was the thing, too, where we were. It was, you know, so so limited houses and stuff. It yeah. was like big, vast lands. Oh, yeah. And it's like, man, there's turkeys everywhere. Yeah. It's like, but it's like you said, I mean, it just didn't work out, but yeah. it was like, they're right next door on that property and right next door across the road. Well, yeah, it could have gone man. in, you know, the first morning we heard two that were on the right side of the Creek. So yeah. the second morning we went, well, that day we went like, let's go ahead and, you know, we set up the blind so we could, for video purposes and yeah. all that stuff. And, yeah. uh, they gobbled a couple times and then, you know, kind of shut up. It's like, man, they're, you know, any minute they're going to come out here, any minute. And then they just, nothing happened. They wouldn't respond to a, a locator call or nothing. So I don't know what time that, I was like, hey, let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Uh, we'll go find some public land to hunt. And, you know, you're like, I bet those things went up and over the hill. We come out of the gate, turn left and drive 200 yards. And, and there they are. There's blowing up on that big green field, which it was not, it was a little nicer field than what we were on. But yeah, yeah. I still wonder, you know, like I said, it could have been pressure, it could have been anything. So, yeah. Well, you know, and I was wondering, my, my, and we were, of course, we were trying to figure it out the whole time. Like, why are, you know, what's going on? Why is it? And it's like, uh, I kept thinking, well, it's a directional thing. They're yeah. coming in the yeah. evenings, they're coming to our field. Yeah, because that evening we saw birds in that field. Yes. Very, when we rolled up there just to check out the place. And yeah. in Missouri, it's 1 o'clock, you're done. Yeah. And so <clears throat> I think they were using that field, but they were coming across it and roosting in the, you know what I mean? And yeah. then it's like they just keep that same travel pattern. Yeah, making a big circle sort of yeah. back around. Yeah. I mean, that was my guess. I mean, I really don't know. Yeah, probably probably. It had been either that or pressure before we got there. I mean, yeah, yeah, the, exactly. I mean, or, you know, it's either that's just what they do or somebody has scared them off that field. Right. And they ain't right. coming back. But, you know, so we rolled up that first day, and it's like, oh, there's birds right there. You yeah, know, like, yeah. I, I binoed some two birds in the field right yeah, off the bat. And yeah, day so, day one. So so day day one was a bunch of birds around us. Day yeah. two, we moved over closer to where we heard the birds close to us. Yeah, the ones that were actually on our <clears> on yep. our property. On So there's a ridge laid up there. And uh, that's, you know, looking at it on topo before we ever went up there, it's like, oh, I know where the turkey's going to be. This would be pretty easy and that's why we set up the way we did day day one because yeah. like they'll all i bet they're going to be hammering in front of us and they were two of them were but most of them were on the other side of the creek mm -hmm. which was 44 square miles of nothing yeah and exactly a little tree line which who knows yeah who, how did that make <laughs> sense you know <laughs> i don't know like we'll never know yeah but, it's crazy but there again you know it's like yeah if they would have been 50 yards this way or 50 yards that way we probably could have killed four. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. So then day three comes along and we like, all right, we've got a plan. Yeah. So we, we kind of, <clears throat> kind of ditched the, the blind idea. Yeah. And we went in on foot. Yeah. And snake, you snake snaked in there at night time. Yeah. And so across the road, when we, when we found our birds, you I think you, well, maybe we just video, I don't know if we video or not. We were watching that to Bino anyway. And the Tom was pushing that Jake around like that was what Bullying he was doing over, over, over. It's like tomorrow let's just run a Jake decoy. And you'd mentioned something about, man, we may be able to gobble, you know, I'll do like a little short Jake gobble and see if we can get him mad enough to fly down. So we went back to where well, we had a, I don't know, a whole bunch of stuffed crust pizza and then bought a, <laughs> bought a uh, gobble call. Cause I'm not, that's not nothing. I've like I told you. It's like, yeah. You know, Cook, Cook was on here talking about, you know, gobbling and making them mad. Yeah. I've never messed with it. Cause I normally don't hunt like public stuff. So I'm not going to be gobbling. But, right. Hey, um, don't get shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I never really messed with it. So that was a plan. And I can tell you, man, we got in there super early. I'm belly crawling out, popping out a Jake decoy and a GoPro. We were quiet going in, had the camera set up was nice. And then we had the deer move in, but, uh, yeah, the birds didn't roost there that day. They didn't roost there. <laughs> they roosted there two days in a row. Yeah, I know. And it's like, we didn't bump them. No, you know, it's no. like, what, you know, Why? And they're they're what across the other way from us, mm. a long ways, and yeah. it's like man. 
Yeah. yeah. So I it don't is know. what it is, I guess. But I think it would have been a good idea. And like we talked about on the way home, was like, man, if that, even if we wouldn't have killed on right there, we were, we were within 35 yards of probably 40 yards of where yeah. they were roosting. And so the land laid out, it kind of had like a little point. So we kind of snuck around that point and got low and got Nick. We our, we looked at it that morning and realized the cedar trees, there's no way we can be spotted and they were low to the ground. So we stopped right at the cedar trees, tucked in there. Yeah. And, you know, I was kind of anticipating the gobble. On, and, you know, because, you know, when you get up on a bird, you cut, you suck in tight to a bird like that. And it's like when it gobbles, it's like, oh, oh. yeah. So shake, I, was, I was kind of anticipating like, oh, it's going to happen. And even the owls weren't hooting that morning. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. Was, yeah. It was Something. a strange because, I mean, we had owls in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tons, tons, yeah. tons, tons. Like, and matter of fact, we would just <clears throat> listen for the owls. Yeah. Now we didn't have to hoot no. because they were hooting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were covered <laughs> up in owls. So we just slipped there and listened, which. Like I said, it still puts a smile on your face when you roll oh, up. It was, it was a good time. A place for sure. like that. And it's like, you know, the rolling hills, the sunrise, the green fields. Um, I don't know how many deer we saw. Bunch. Bunch. Yeah. And then, you know, like I said, the house deal was, you know, stop quitting hunting that one was, I was kind of almost excited for because it's like, yeah, yeah that'd be a cool little break. We can, you know, you know, we talked about doing a show up there. And it's like, we can do a show up there. We can do this. But, uh, yeah, we didn't really have anything to talk about. Yeah. It, but we, 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 maybe, to, maybe tomorrow. How but, we didn't shoot one. But no. then, in hindsight, it's like, man, I, I bet if we had come back down there around 3 or 4 o'clock when those birds were making that circle, we probably could have killed. Unfortunately, you know, can't do it can't in Missouri. Can't do it in Missouri. So. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we got to... Uh, Got to watch a lot of like twenty year old DVDs since all yeah. we had was a DVD player, which yeah. I enjoyed. Hey, you a... you uh, enlightened me on some movies I'd yeah. never seen. Yeah. You know, was yeah. in your repertoire. We get, we get to watch all the man shows instead of having to watch <laughs> yeah. Lifetime. Well, no chick and flicks. Else. Yeah, so I was like, we're out there watching all this good Shoot stuff. Shoot 'em ups, and, like DVDs that we've had, you know, in our possession. <laughs> yeah, for what would we say, twenty something yeah. year old, yeah, twenty yeah, something year old movies that were. You realize the. Um, the movies that were really, really well put together and stuff back then, it's like, man, you can tell that's old. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was like the coolest thing ever back then. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow. Well, man, I had a great time. Yeah, um, for sure. We, we don't get to hang out like that very much. And so, no. yeah, I think we talked for this whole six hour drive up and the whole six hour drive oh, yeah, back for and sure. talk about hunting and life and everything else. So, yep. you know, God giving us the opportunity and the, the means and the, Everything just go up there and experience something like that. It's just to me, it's cool, like, super cool. Whether you kill or you don't kill, obviously, you know, you go up there for a purpose to kill. But I mean, ultimately, it's a memory and just seeing those birds out there like that, and knowing like, okay, well, we need to. I mean, like we talked about, okay, next year. So I've always been like a one bird in Arkansas guy. I will never try to kill two turkeys in Arkansas. Like, yeah, just no, because of not the anymore. Yeah, so we actually um, on my Facebook deal. You know, the same thing before yeah. while we were, I think we were just walking into the, the Airbnb and I got a message from another farmer, ironically enough, 12 miles away from where yeah. we were at. Isn't that wild? Yeah. And, uh, that tells me we, we were in Turkey country. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? For 100%. I mean, like I said, I've never, I've hunted out of state quite a few times. And I've never seen that many turkeys ever, ever, ever. So there's a pro tip right there. <clears throat> So yeah. if if you have if you know you want to go out of state, you don't know about any place. Yeah, do what you did, right? Yeah, but not when I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and don't go where we're going. <laughs> yeah, don't go. Don't go where we're going. Yeah, no, it's kind of a cool deal because uh, you know, like I said, the downfall to public is it's public. Yeah, right. And you got a lot of guys. Not saying I'm an expert, but you got a lot of guys that are. They're coming in in the dark and walking the very ridge where 99% of people would know that the turkeys are roosting. I've had it happen to me a hundred times. Or they're over calling or they're, you know, doing all these things. And, and we noticed that when we drove around public, you saw no birds in the fields because yeah. they've had gravel popping for three weeks. Been and salted. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, mm -hmm. exactly. But, in, you know, on the downside of not hunting public is this what we said. We were kind of. Hemmed in. We were kind of hemmed into property lines, yeah. whereas we could have went around and made a move on those birds, no question. Yeah, and, yeah, and killed some turkeys if we were willing to cross property lines. <laughs> <laughs> they were definitely killable. I mean, it would have yeah. been. Yeah, they, they would have. They were right it would have been easy to circle around, and get in front of them, and 
the way the land laid even worked on our, like we could have went right down that wooded fence row and cut in front of them, the other side of that pond, and we could have killed, no question. But yeah. So good and the bad, but yeah, we got that message, and I'm like, man, just, we didn't do anything. And then, um, you know, the boy, he was up in Springfield trying to get a bird. Yeah, he was hunting too. Yeah, he was in Missouri. So yeah. he was up there trying to get a bird and didn't get one. So uh, I was like, hey, you think you take off work Friday? So, um, Got in touch with this guy. He's got two farms. Nice. Bigger than what we were on. And we got the option to hunt either one of them, both of them. I figure we'll probably bounce around. You know how I did. We're like, let's go look at some public. Sure. If something doesn't happen that morning. So uh, we drove, what we drive? Probably close to 900 miles, 450 up and 450 back. Something like that, yeah. Started my truck up Tuesday morning. Mm-hmm. And service engine light came on. It said um, something about emission system. It's going to go into limp mode. Oh, boy. And basically, you can only go 65 mile an hour. <laughs> and so I took it well, to the shop, or my work, and pulled it up on my scan tool and scanned it. And it said um, some sort of temperature sensor in the def tank. So oh, wow. I, I got it diagnosed today. And it's supposed to be out of the shop tomorrow. And you're so you're waiting on it to go. I gotta sit here to wait on this guy to call me and say your truck's ready before you can take off. So, so you're probably not gonna get there to dark tomorrow. We night. may not get there till two o'clock in the morning. I don't mm. know. He said it'll mm. be ready by the end of business, hopefully, which is five o'clock. So Ugh. if we leave at five and drive six hours, do the math, it's gonna be kind of late. But and the boy's gonna have to stop and eat every 35, 40 minutes, or he'll <laughs> die and go in the hey. convulsion. So what's what eighteen year old boys do, man? Yeah, <laughs> time to eat. So, yeah, this ought to be, I mean, you know, the only downfall is like we talked about, right? It's like, oh, we got to do this earlier next year whenever yeah. we're not towards the end of the breeding season. Right. But, you know, you can still find that that lonely Tom out there. So sure. hopefully it works out. I mean, I'm hoping to, you know, you were in total control of all the the video side of it. I don't have to worry about it, but now I've got to kind of worry about that too. So, and I'm yeah. not near as good at that side of it or thinking about it as you are. Ah. So I'm hoping I can get I bet you do fine. something going that we yeah. can, that we can. So use. you're going to try to get the boy one. Yeah. That's the, that's the first. Yeah. Goal. I'm going to try to get him one. Uh, uh, he invested in a tag, right? So yeah, he's got his own money invested in a tag and I've got my, so it'd be nice if we could each get one. That'd be good. I'm leaving the bow at home this time. Yeah. I think that was a cocky move you, on my part. You, like, I'm going to kill with the you're bow. Not, you're not going to take the golf club and the... No, the boomerangs. Boomerangs. No, boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> I got cocky. He's like, I'll bet we get up there and we can, I'll kill with my bow first thing. Oh, yeah. Like, so I'm yeah. leaving the bow at home this time. Well, we talked about that, too. I was going to be... I wasn't even going to buy a tag. I was just yeah. going to film you. And it's yeah. like, we get up there and it's like, you know, birds everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to go buy a tag. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's kind of like we talked about my first trip to Missouri. That's where that came from, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. turkeys everywhere. I'm going to kill one with a stick and a golf club, yeah. a boomerang. And it's going down. It's like, this is easy, but it ain't. I mean, yeah. But I mean, like I said, if that would have been, if we'd have had permission on two more farms right next to us, we we could have we killed, oh, yeah. killed our limit. Oh, yeah, for I mean, sure. That's just the way the land was set up. We were just kind of like, we can't get in front of them because yeah. of what they're doing. And we can't cross a Creek cause that's the property line. It's like, yep. it would have been, you know, that bird that first morning you could cough and he would gobble. On oh yeah. He, you yeah. could have killed that thing easy. He was fired up for sure. That's one of those ones like Shipman was talking about. We don't want to kill them long, yeah. long spur turkeys. Yeah. We want to kill them stupid ones that just Two gobble and, and come right yeah. in. Like that bird was on fire. Yeah. Yeah. And the one next to him wasn't too far from yeah. it. So no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, so we're going to go up and try to hunt. You know, it closes on Sunday, so we're going to try to get a, a Friday morning. We'll be a blind hunt, obviously. Yeah. And we'll probably spend the afternoon trying to get to know the farm. Sure. And then Saturday, hopefully, have a pretty good shot of maybe doubling up or killing a bird. Well, your temperatures ought to be good. Show some rain, but the temperatures do show to be better. You know, yeah. we were battling some, <laughs> you know, 29 Winter degree time. windshield stuff up there. Which yeah. It wasn't bad, you know. I was expecting to freeze to death, but yeah. once we walked in and everything, yeah. you start hiking a little yeah. bit. And wasn't too bad. It gets it kind of gets your blood flowing, but um, and then we'll hunt. You know, same thing like you and I did. We'll hunt Sunday morning and uh, head and on that, back. And that's the season. Season ends at one o'clock on Sunday. So, gotcha. Yeah. You know, you'll have to work on Monday, so we'll have to get back and do that. But uh, well, hopefully, y'all can you know do good. I, I, I bet. Yeah. You know, I bet. It, you, so your your farm is. Uh, it hadn't been hunted, you said, right? This this the, in a week or so. Yeah, in a week or two. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the, he's, be good. he's got this guy's got four farms up there, and we're going to be able to hunt two of them with a total of about five hundred acres. Nice. So we were on one sixty. One sixty. Yeah. So one sixty versus 
Five hundred. Five hundred combined. I don't know. I'm not sure how they lay out yet. Sure. He sent me kind of a big aerial deal, but um, he's not sending me the, the coordinates so yeah. I can actually scope it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't do nothing on your own. He's yeah. got to do it with you. Yeah, pretty yeah much, I understand yeah. that. Yeah, I yeah get, and that's I why get he's that. like, man, we're pretty big on security up here about nice. people knowing how it accesses and all that stuff. I, was, oh, I get it because I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. we talked about how how far apart the houses are. I mean, if you were an unethical hunter, oh yeah, we could have killed. A truckload of turkeys off the side of the road. Absolutely, we went, we went. absolutely. <laughs> it's like that one. At that one point on our way out, remember we saw those that bird strutting down there, and then we kind of go up the hill, and there's a truck parked out the gate, and we're looking for the guy. Like we got to help Point. this guy out, man, dude. Point. The bird's like right there. Yeah, pointing down yeah. the hill. Yeah. yeah, he's right over there. So we we sat there for a minute, hoping he'd kind of pop out of the woods or something. But I don't know how deep he was in there. But you know, it's kind of like the videos you see on you know TikTok or or Facebook Reels or whatever they are. Like the trucks parked at the gate and the turkeys strutting next to the truck he he wasn't far he from wasn't it. far yeah. he wasn't far he was right there with by him but so yeah we're gonna we're gonna make that trip and you know probably do the same thing you and i did we're gonna talk about life and yeah uh, good make, time with make, the boy make some memories and sure. something we hadn't done since his last youth season yeah it was the last time me and him turkey that'd be good man yeah. that's that's a that's a bonding time yeah that's that's another thing good about yeah. hunting man yeah if you get to you get to break away and, and spend some quality time yeah. with, with somebody you love, man, well, that's that's hard to beat right you know, there. You know, the other part of it is, you know, with, with the kid side of it, you know what I mean? It's like you, you never get done raising them. So oh, no, I we're going to have some advice time. <laughs> Not that he's stepping out of line. He's, he's making some big life decisions. And, oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to discuss those. And and uh, there's a gas grill up there, so we're going to probably eat two or three pounds of steak and uh, set, do it right. Sit around and see what's happening, and, and hopefully we we'll kill some birds. I'm, of course, as always, I'm optimistic. You know, what I mean, when we were on our drive up there, I was like, you and I, I was like, oh yeah, excited. Yeah, just so excited. Couldn't, yeah. Matter of fact, the morning before we left, I woke up like at three fifty in the morning. It's like, yeah, yeah. And we're going to we're going to be turkey hunting tomorrow. Tomorrow this time we're going to be turkey hunting, and I was excited about it. I'm like, and you know, to me that's what turkey hunting's about, though. It's yeah. 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 Same thing with deer hunting. You know, you, you hit, you get a target buck on, on mm-hmm. your, on your mind. And it's like the night before you're going up there, it's kind of, you know, you're, you're going to go out to hunt him cause you think he's killable. And it's like all these things. And I'm not a big, uh, man, we learned this weekend we're opposite sleepers, right? Like I'm, <laughs> I have a tough time getting to go to sleep and you, you can go fall asleep real easy, which I wish I was blessed with that. But when I get something like that on my mind, it's like, you're processing it. It's like a little kid at Christmas, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, we're going to be turkey hunting tomorrow. Well, well, you know, the saying is, is you know, if you have, what is it, a, a clear conscience? Yeah. Well, it's not that. It's yeah. just if you don't have anything in your mind, yeah. you go right to sleep. You go to sleep, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know. Yeah. Mine's always spinning about something. I'm spun up all the time with something going through my head. But. Well, I know for me, it was what was kind of tough is, you know, I'm an eight-hour a night guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, the first the first day, we were rolling on four, four and a half. Maybe. Yeah, I Maybe. think I went to sleep. So we had the, uh, we both had the uh, um, cell tower, and, you know, the next property over that yeah, would, like, was strobing us with our sheer curtain. So yeah. my, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty rough. But because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't care if it's the nicest hotel in the world. I can't hardly sleep if I ain't at home. Well, you know, I told you on the, after that first, I said, dude, uh, I'm going to be taking a nap. Yeah. I'm just going to let you know <laughs> yeah. that now. Yeah. And you're like, dude, I'm not going to, I'm going to try to not take a nap. So I go sleep, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, I woke up like an hour and a half later and you're yeah. just still sitting there wide awake. Yeah. Like, How are you doing that? Dude? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh I'm not, gosh. I'm not big of a napper. I'm, if I get wore out, I will. But yeah, that, that was my strategy was, and I was telling my wife, I said, man, I didn't sleep very good. She's like, uh, you know, put some, uh, um, you know, some <laughs> yeah. sleeping noises on your phone. So that night I, I just typed in, you know, sleeping noises or whatever, sleep music or right. something. And uh, it was this guy and he's like, you know, let the stress of the day go away. I'm like, man, this is actually pretty, well. I went out and then I woke up like, you know, two minutes later and he was like saying something else in my ear. I'm like, ah, oh, what the heck? Some on? dude's so, whispering so, in So yeah, ear. I had to get rid of him. <laughs> I had to ditch him and go to like straight up rain yeah. sounds. But I mean, it did help. I slept better. And then so of course by day three of getting four hours of sleep, I was like, I, I slept through the night. No problem. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, we had a, the, um, what day was it? Tuesday. We had such a bad day. My, uh, 
coffee makers spewed coffee grounds all in my deal. Oh, and okay. we got there and the truck alarm was going off and I spilt my coffee oh, yeah. on the way in. Yeah. And I forgot what all went wrong. The, that the was that was uh, Tuesday. What? No. What, Sunday. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah Sunday. And, uh, the blind had blown away and our chairs <laughs> yeah. were wet. And it's like, man, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know what's happening. We're struggling. I ain't had no coffee. And what I do have is just grounds at this point. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. And then. Uh, the wind was blowing 327 mile an hour, which the door didn't shut all the way. So as my horn yeah. was honking, alarm was going off. Yeah, that was like, on me. I didn't, you know, I didn't get the like, door shut. Do you think your battery go dead? And I was like, I don't even care, man. I just want, <laughs> I just want to get out there. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you just gonna leave it honking? Yeah. You're like, heck with it, man. Yeah. Just let it go. <laughs> I don't even care. Maybe it'll get the turkeys gobbling. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was, was an eventful morning. Yeah, yeah I was like, sure. man, geez, what are we doing here? Yeah, and you and you're like a diehard coffee guy. I yeah. mean, it's funny because that's what I do for a living. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm in the beverage business, and yeah. it's like you got to have your coffee. Yeah. That's like, I didn't, I didn't used one. to be that way, man. It was like, for me, I drink it in the winter time, right? Like I, yeah, I, yeah. I have this and I drink it black. I don't have nothing in it. So right, right. black coffee. And then two years ago, two summers ago, I just like, I kept on, didn't stop it. And then I'll do, I'll do about 20 ounces in my big um, yeah. camel family you know, yeah, yeah. mug. And, yeah. and, uh, uh, and sometimes even like today, you know, it's like guys were like, Hey, you want to go to lunch? And it's like, I'll sip on it all day long, you know, and it's like they could leave, they could want to go to lunch at like 11. And I'm like, I mean, I guess I didn't finish my coffee yet. But I mean, I guess let's go. They like to go, you know, once a week or so and visit, and visit with us and stuff, which yeah. it's a great, it's a good time. We buy them lunch and take them out to have some Mexican food or something. But yeah, I'll drink on that coffee all day long. So yeah, when I seen, when I, when you, when that alarm's going off as we're coming down the hill and you set yeah. that cup down and it fell over. Yeah. I was like, oh. And I was like, oh no. Yeah. Man. Chris's not yeah. going to make it. He's not going to yeah, make it. That was, that was good. But, <laughs> You know, huh? We gave up pretty early that morning. Like, let's yeah. go back and get some coffee and <laughs> let's uh, get recharged. Yeah, get some coffee and um, I get a nap, <laughs> coffee, a biscuit, and go hit some public ground. I think yeah. we did about seven miles that day. And yeah, there's some good public ground up there too. But like we were talking about, I was like, man, this is they almost made it too nice, right? It's too easy to access. Oh, everything. yeah. And that yeah. was the thing, man. I mean, we had talked about that before. It's like, I am really impressed with the conservation up there in Missouri. Gosh. They they go out of their way to yeah. help the hunter. Screening. Oh, it's wonderful. Corn, man. Yeah. bean fields, mowed paths. Yeah, mowed paths everywhere. Yeah. And it's like, you know, just you'll have like down in the bottom, you'll have this bean field or corn yeah. field stashed away. And oh, it's like, yeah. dude, this is awesome, yeah. man. But you remember when we was hunting public. Yeah. Publix. I mean, like uh, the first time we went up for deer hunting, mm -hmm. we was hunting Elton. Yeah. And it's like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. It's like you look at it and like, I'm going to that spot. That's yeah. where I want to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But like you said, the, the I think the downfall to that is they've made it so easy mm -hmm. for the hunter. Yeah. It's like really easy to get into those spots. Yeah. And, you know, you've proven you can kill big bucks on public land. And the boy killed one on a lease up there. But, I mean, the public land stuff, like we said earlier, the problem with the public land, as nice as it is, it's public. Yeah. And, you know, the problem I got to run into, so when Joe and I were going up, we were we were kind of leaving Helton alone a little bit. They cleared off that, well, that western side, cleared yeah. off that whole thing. And so we found Bonanza and Horseshoe Bend, and we started hunting some other ones. Yeah. And you would pull up there, and it's like some guy in a Pontiac Grand Prix, and like, <laughs> you know, at the parking spot, and it's like, yeah, I got to stand over here, and I stand over here, and my wife's sitting over here, and my cousin's over here, and it's like, so you have the whole place, or can, yeah. I, can all, I get in here anywhere? And all 2,000 acres? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so me and you hunt alike, right? It's like the parking spots go around the perimeters of those things, and people hunt off the edge, and you and I hunt the same way. Like, I'm going to the middle. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on the creek. I'm going to walk to the middle of the property. And, What's the hardest place? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's and, where we're going. Know, yeah. And a lot of times you'll find, well, just like how that land we were on this weekend, right? Yeah, we all, We're going there turkey hunting. The first thing we started doing is like, I bet the deer are bedding right here and crossing right here and doing mm -hmm. this. And it's like, <laughs> it comes all these deer out of yeah. this area. I'm like, yeah, that's right that's, on the, right on the money. Yeah, too bad we can't deer hunt that, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. I still got his number. You know, he may make work that out somehow. Yeah. No, I think they're deer hunters up there. Everybody, yeah. yeah. Everybody we drove up on, talked to, and they was like, well, yeah, they were talking about the it's deer, the deer, deer, deer serious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know how many, uh, Blinds we seen. Oh yeah, Butch. yeah, big elevated blinds. Yes, yeah, all over the place. Lots of them. There. Yeah, I think those guys. They probably ain't gonna be leasing that out. Nah. Really. unless they kill their target buck and they got some dinkers in there. They might want to yeah, let you charge, have one of them. Charge you forty thousand dollars to go in there and set up a hunt. <laughs> but, but yeah, it was an awesome. It was an awesome deal. And you know, as a you know, we met 
a few different farmers up there. Great people. Yeah, I mean, really nice. Super folks. honest with us. They, the guy told us, "Hey, there's six toms in here," and they were six toms in there. There was. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's like you know, it wasn't super expensive. We yeah. Where we weren't on. It was reasonable. Yeah. yeah we really weren't was. dealing with public, and um, this place Luke and I are going to considering it's it's not you know the guy's kind of late season he's like i'll i'll do you know i'll do it for this much a better rate you and your oil coming up and it's like let's do it man yeah we got one more shot to kill the turkey and it's you know we got a three-day deal and i'm i didn't get to kill one last year because of his injury and all that stuff so yeah i'm kind of like um i'm needing that at least i need to see one flop or that he kills one or i (laughs) kill one or we both kill one so yeah well i mean that to me is going to be anytime you get to do something like that with with a kid yeah. you know oh, it, yeah. it's going to be i mean even if you guys don't kill which yeah. which there's a good chance you will obviously yeah. it's going to be a good trip yeah. you know what i mean well like i said i hadn't i have not turkey hunted with him since his last year to youth hunt and we got on a really good bird and couldn't get him killed he was hung up behind some i told the story he was hung up by some little yeah. little pine, pine baby pine thicket things and then he got ate up with the duck hunting yeah and yeah. i'm not yeah, let's go duck hunting. Yeah, let's go duck hunting. Like, oh, you find a spot and get it going. I'll go with you, but I ain't fixing to buy no decoy. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. <laughs> well, I'd say, you know, I, me, go, I go with people that duck hunt. Yeah. I well, everybody knows me like, dude, why don't you duck hunt? And yeah. it's like, I'm so wrapped up in deer hunting. Mm-hmm. And that really takes, yeah. if, if I want to do it right, yeah. it takes all my time. Yeah. And, and you, I you don't need that. something else. My yeah. wife is generous enough yeah. Yeah. letting me do what I do. Oh, and it's I like, that's right. I don't need to eat up a whole yeah. bunch of my time, you know. Yeah. I mean? we're, we're blessed in the wife department. Sure. sure. We get to hunt and Good land wife. and land manage and take trips and do podcasts. And, and have fun. Think yep. about and talk about hunting. And like, you know, it's, yeah, it's, we're, we're blessed in that department. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. We get that. Hey, dinner's ready when, when you're done. Yeah. Whatever. It, it was <laughs> like, um, uh, I got home on Monday and then uh, I was like, Hey, we're, we're leaving on Thursday and going back up again. <laughs> are you really? Like, it wasn't like, you know, yeah. You what got, are you, you thinking? You got to kidding me, right? No, like, what do you think? Which I think she, she don't mind me. I'm, I'm always out of the house anyway, but she gets, uh, they're having a little slumber party sure. and they're going to do this same thing yeah. I did last time. Have some, I think it's supposed to be 90 degrees here. So I think they're going to have a little pool party over there. Yeah. So anyway. oh, yeah. Well, that's every time, like every deer trip I take, it's yeah. like, the girls are having a shindig here. Yeah, it's yeah, going down, yeah, don't which it's is good. great. It's good for everybody. Yeah. Other than we came back, can barely lift our arms up after a deer a deer hunting trip, and they're still refreshed. Oh, yeah, and yeah. we wore out. Yeah, and it's like this trip too. It's like me and you both had to go to work the next day, uh-huh. and it's yeah. like I texted you, and yeah. I was like, uh, "Dude, I slept like ten hours." Yeah, last I night. <laughs> yeah, I think I was right behind you. I went to bed at nine and got up at seven. So I went to bed at nine, and got up at six thirty. <laughs> kind of the way it went down i never i'm an 11 o'clock guy so yeah yeah it takes a toll on you i mean not as much as turkey hunting doesn't like when i'm hunting public land deer dude i'll stay awake looking at stuff spots and topographical stuff yeah, and try trying to, to figure, like, them out. figure out what i'm doing and turkey hunting it's kind of like it's a little more like that. on that ridge yeah it's like yeah. i'm just going there and listening and see what happens so yeah. it's a little more relaxed and oh for sure for sure. And a turkey hunting trip for sure but yeah i'm excited man i mean this is the last hoorah this year so you know We'll see. It's been a tough season. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, the Missouri thing was a fun, fun trip. Oh, yeah. And it just, dominoes didn't fall yeah. like we wanted them to, yeah, but we were, the we were birds the were there. Yeah. It's like that's, you said, we, we just want to be in the game. Yeah. We were, we were yeah, in the game. Yeah, we were in the game. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah, that's what I've said this whole year. Just put me in the, just put me in the game where I have a chance to yep. kill one. It's yep. like, and like I said, next year, I'm, I'm going to give Arkansas a break, I think. You know, and I've still got, I've, I've got a potential Miriam hunt lined up for next year, finally. I've been trying to get one done Sweet. for like three years. So I'm going to try to get that done. And then I say we just plan on heading up there. We'll see how this farm hunts up here. You yeah, know, too. maybe. This guy may be, you know, somewhere we can like, hey, I'll just hit him up right then. You know, like, hey, can we book, you know, early season next year? Yeah. If, it, if it works out and lays out nice. and He'll know, He sounds like he knows what's up. Well, you know, uh, he obviously I uh, you know looked up looked him up on Facebook, and a lot of his friends are some of my mutual friends, and he's friends with uh, some of some big name hunters in the industry. In the industry, gotcha. Sturgis, Sweet. Uh, Todd Mead. Um, oh, awesome! Yeah, awesome. a bunch of those guys. That, he's probably that, ate so up with it just I like us. I feel like <laughs> that he might know what he's doing. I mean, you know, yeah, it's it's no there's no guide or anything like that. Sure. He's saying here's the farm. And, you know, here's kind of where I think the birds might be, and, the, and that's the gist of it. But 
for one, I'm not a guide guy. For two, I would not pay for you know the expense of a guy. I just want hey, just unlock the gate for me. Yeah. What, what's that going to cost? Yeah. You know, that's basically all we need. Yeah, same yeah. Thing. Same thing we just got done doing. It's yeah. like and it don't cost too too much. The guy's not using the land anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And Beneficial for everybody. A lot of those guys, like we talked about, they don't care about turkeys out no, there, man. No. Now they're we figured out they're deer hunters. I mean, turkeys are just like coons to them. They're just running around all the fields. Well, that's the first guy we was talking to, he's like, Y'all drove all the way up here for turkeys? <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We don't have turkeys like, <laughs> Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. like it, it's kind of funny because I'll get that uh I've had it a couple times now. It's like, Man, I really want to hunt a pig. I yeah, really yeah, want yeah. a pig. I'm like, yeah. we got pigs. That ain't yeah. no problem. Yeah. Well, see, I had a guy that I uh, used to coach baseball with, and uh, he's pretty high up in a company, and he was going to work out a deal. He knew a guy that had land in Texas, one of his big suppliers, and he was going to come up there and let us turkey hunt because there's, like, apparently a bunch of turkeys in Texas. I really didn't know, but mm-hmm. there was a bunch of turkeys up there, and he wanted to know if I could get him up there on a lease and kill a pig. I'm like, uh, yeah. Yeah. What can, what day? Yeah, we can make that happen. Yeah, I can throw out some corn and we can kill a pig, no problem. Yeah, so for sure. Never, uh, never, you know, never actually made that happen. But yeah, there, you see that a lot of people that yeah. this guy was from Texas. There's plenty of pigs in Texas, but I guess maybe not in his area. I don't know. Yeah, well, see, I had a guy on YouTube. And yeah, I put up one of the pig videos. Where we, oh yeah, and he's like, dude, I'll pay you money to come hunt those. You yeah. know, and I'm just like. Yeah, I don't really have nothing set up for a hunter, yeah. you know, but yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Oh, no. But, you know, fortunately, in my property, it's it's hit or miss sometimes on pigs, and right now I don't have any. So. Yeah, thank the Lord. Knock on, knock built, on wood. I built my, my feeder pen last year. I really didn't have any problem on my place, but the lease over there, man, it's, it's just if horrible. If you're feeding corn, it's, you're going to have, you're going to have, you know, pictures of them eating, bedding down, sleeping, waking up. Like, yeah. they may not leave until somebody runs them out of there. So. There's plenty, plenty of them. And I used to be fired up about them too when I first got that lease over there. I mean, I would stay, I'd go up there like at nine o'clock at night and stay till four or five in the morning and just kill everyone that came in and I had a blast doing yeah, it. Yeah, I now, remember. Now yeah. it's like, eh. Yeah, I'm over that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> we used to, you know, do the back strap and barbecue them and grind up the sausage and all that stuff. And the wife read something on the yeah. the, the, the internet saying that some kind of pig, pig virus is bad for it. So she won't <laughs> eat it anymore. So. If I kill them now, I give them away to my painter. He likes them, so I'll just say I got a pig over to come get it. And, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's what I was doing. We was trapping them. Was like, yeah. find somebody to take them. Yeah, there's some guys out there that's done. I still the ones I killed a couple of years ago. Well, a couple years ago, this is last year. I just pick them up with a tractor and I just cut the tenderloins out of them. And, yeah, and uh, I'll save those. Suppose. And, yeah, mm-hmm. chunk the rest of it and. Mm-hmm. That's why whenever I was out shed hunting, I found I'd go out there and spray them, spray lead on all of them, and then they just go out everywhere and die in a high shed hunt. And I found, you know, 16 pigs, but no no sheds. So I was like, oh, hi. And pig heads all over the place. Yeah, you had pig heads with yeah. cutter, big old cutters oh, on yeah, them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Golly. So, yeah, that was uh, that was fun, man. I appreciate you um, going on that trek with me. Thanks and, for the uh, invite, man. That was, was I had a good time. I hadn't done anything like that in, yeah. in a long time. Yeah, well, relaxing. since Since the... Gosh, since the Missouri days when yeah. we were going then, but yeah, it was it was a blast. And so next week, we'll talk about how you guys did. Yeah, I'm interested to see how y'all. I'll have some kind of story for yeah, you. I promise. I promise you'll have a story. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, we'll probably try to get into the a little bit of the plot screen inside yeah. of things because yeah, if you're in the South like we are right now, right now is the time to plant one. So, yeah, May so is, May is the month for and, that. And, so, yeah. And for me, I've really had some good success on the plot, plot yeah, screen happening. Yeah. So Yeah, you're the plot, plot screen guru for sure. Yeah, we, we'll bring that up next week. But guys, we want to thank you all for listening yeah, today. Yeah. This has been The Hunt Experience. Thank you all.